Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. We are back once more with Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're going to be jumping in as horror this time. We're getting close to not having any vanilla characters left. I don't know who else we've got. Crystal Throne, but um, we get in Strong Spirit Rock four times. There, there's some vanilla characters I think we have left and there's a few modded ones. And yeah, we could get them onto the modded ones soon. I have no idea what I'm going to do for thumbnails for the modded ones. I'm really not sure. But we're going to start off with horror here and just jump in. I'm excited to play some more Nuclear Throne. I've just been truly and thoroughly excited to play Nuclear Throne Ultra, by the way. I just, it's just so exciting to play something with so much new and fresh content. It's, it's great. Just missed the mouse there. That's fine. Um, okay, we do get an extra choice here. Let's, let's go, like, I want to go, like, high damage with this guy. By the way, this is yet another character where I rarely use the, um, I think I can pop that, yeah. Where I rarely use the, what's it called? Just lock him in the corner there. <laughs> I very rarely use his ability, but I tend to use it a little more once I get to ultra, because you can start using it to block bullets and not worry about the rads it spends. Good, good, good. Okay. So we're taking the, the water path again. Someone kind of told me that this water path here, it, it, it is a shortcut. It, is, it works as a shortcut in the base game as well. Um, and you kind of use it to skip forward, uh, meaning that you have less enemies in later areas, but your guns aren't quite as good. So it's kind of an interesting way to go forward. Um, and I'm going to try and just experience it a little bit. Because even in base Nuclear Throne, I never went to this area. So it's, it's even quite new to me still. Um... I remember the Nuclear Throne uh, Territorial Expansion adds a few new enemies to this area. And a few of them I'm, I'm like, interested to see weren't vanilla, which is kind of, it's kind of weird to me now. Um, I remember there was, like, hammerhead sharks that I thought felt very vanilla, and they weren't. Um, okay. Let's take Rhino Skin here. I want to go full aggro, but I've not really got too many aggro choices here. Probably Gamma Guts. Gamma Guts is pretty good for going aggro. Obviously, the pop gun here is proving to be incredibly useful early on. Just against these weaker, lower HP enemies, it does so much. Take care of those. He's like, look at that. It just shreks them. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, the ammo consumption is quite ridiculous. So, I do have to be a bit careful of that. We got... Ooh, this is a really cool weapon. Blood Bubble, I think it's called something along those lines. So Rage might be good here. Eagle Eyes. Um, Eagle Eyes could be good early on. Like I said, I kind of want to go aggro. Beam, quicker charge, beam heal. Sometimes missed beams will drop rads. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to take Rage though. I just love Rage for the, for the extra fire rate. Okay, so of course with this, the range is limited. We don't want to, um, so let's take, take care of these guys first. The range is limited on that bad boy. I think this is going to kill him pretty quick, to be, to be fair. It did. I, I did almost die doing that, but Gamma Guts kind of saved me there. Bouncer laser pistol, we'll take that. Grenade rifle, it's... <sighs> being only a quality 9 for being cursed this early on. I don't know, not really my jam. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on right now. Um, we still haven't got many stuff that's going to work with being that aggressive. Let's take, um, it says energy brain there. I thought it was called laser brain. Um, I suppose it makes more sense to be called energy brain, so it works for more weapons. But laser brain, I don't know, it had a bit more, it just sounded better. But I can, I can understand the reasoning. It makes it a little more clear. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd take it because with this weapon, with the bouncy and stuff, seems like it could be extremely powerful and when I said seems like I meant is heavy blood rifle let's take the blood heavy blood rifle yeah give that a go the bubble is good but the short range puts me off a little don't worry about the damage we're taking it's bad but it's not it's not terrible just keep on using this this is the next thing I wanted, and this is why I took um, Rhino Skin. Because now we can get another 25% health off enemies. So enemies literally have half HP now. Which I think is pretty awesome. Yep, 
Yeah, we're killing enemies very quickly here. And that's going to continue forward for the rest of the run. Compromises our HP a little bit, but not too much. I think it's put us in a good spot. Okay. So let's be careful here of all the, the various fire shooty shooties. Okay, purple dragons here. Apparently someone said something about purple dragon having an like an enterable skull once we killed it. So I'm intrigued to see if that's true. I'm trying to use the blood thing here to stop her from hitting me. Like we can just destroy these fire things she's lobbing. There you go. So yeah, something about the skull being enterable maybe. We are taking damage by walking on that there. I don't see that myself personally. And I'm just taking damage to the fire right now. Maybe it's only sometimes. Maybe you have to kill it at a certain amount of time. Oh, wait. Maybe that was it there and I've accidentally destroyed it. There's very possible that that's happened. But anyways, we, we, if we die in this run, we can make our way back and see if we can find out. But I'll keep my eye out for that. So thank you for the whoever it was that pointed that out. I apologize that I don't remember your name. Um, but it's, I'm always happy for people to suggest me to do things or point out mistakes that I make in episodes. I know that obviously there's kind of a culture, especially in roguelikes around commenters backseat gaming and the youtubers themselves not really liking it as long as people aren't rude about it i really don't mind if people like to point out my mistakes and point out my flaws i really don't mind at all it's only when people are quite rude about it and like you can tell they've got an entitlement about them when they do it that it gets kind of frustrating but to be fair that's rare you don't get too many people out there that are overtly rude there's a few people that are unintentionally rude. Normally, that, that usually comes from language barrier, though, more than anything else. People that just don't convey their message quite right, and it comes across the wrong way. And they don't even realize it comes across the wrong way. So that's 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 less of an issue. That's, that's pretty much fine. I don't really mind when that happens. Okay, cool. I was hoping I'd get some HP off of him before leaving, but... We're here now. Super hot assault rifle. We played with the super hot weapons before. They're okay. I don't really think it's that great. Let's uh, jump in here. This is just going to upgrade our weapon quality. We did an apocalypse last time. That was pretty fun. I do think I could end up dying on this floor if I'm not careful. We got a smart gun here. I did unfortunately kind of get trapped by the cat here. I was, yeah, I might, I might die to the cat here, because he's firing lasers, and also blood weapons don't destroy the shots that you, that you fire. I didn't realise that blood weapons wouldn't fire the director shots. There you go, we just about got her. Grab that real quick, and we'll go on. I thought I'd grab the smart weapon, that's pretty good. This makes things a little easier for us. Okay, be very careful here. I would like a slightly higher ranking energy weapon now. The bouncer one is proving to be very good, but I don't think it's going to quite hold up for long. Gatling bazooka. Okay, rads are proving to be plentiful down here. It does kill these guys pretty quick, I'll say that. Gamma Guts is helping too. Level 9. Hmm. More speed. Close dodge sometimes drop items. You know what? That's a, that's a new upgrade to that item. I'll take that. See how that goes. Okay, we one-shot that guy. That's rather nice. I'd like some health drops here, though, again. That'd be very nice. Line of fire. Not, not quite the ammo we need to fight the throne. Let's see what we end up getting here. Electro gun. Nothing amazing. I don't know how we're going to do against the throne here. The throne definitely has more HP in this mod, so I'm a little less confident whenever fighting it. But I think with the piercing and bouncing, considering it's a large target, maybe this laser pistol might do pretty well. We'll see. It's also nice that it has pretty much unlimited range for us here. You are being very aggressive right now, sir. Okay, we did it. That killed way faster than I was expecting. Way faster. And we got our ultra mute as well. 
Okay, so normally we get uh, enemies explode into rads, uh, rad bullets, depending on the amount of rads they drop. Ooh, that's new, I think. Port up here is early as normal. Double radiation capacity, I think that's also normal. Homing beam, beam goes through walls, beam destroys projectiles better. And choose an ultra mutation from another character next level. Doesn't include things you can't use. Get offered patience with every choice. I've got to try that. That's very interesting to me. As long as we make it to the next level, that is. Which I'm very much hoping we do. Rage is uh, proving to be incredibly good right now. Luckily, we do have Gamma Guts here, which is going to mean... We're a little safer. I wouldn't say safe, but a little safer. Bullet sword, disco gun. What the hell was that? That was amazing. That was one of the best experiences of my entire life. Okay. So we'll be keeping that. Yeah, that was uh, unique. Quite unique. Intriguing. So, <laughs> let's have a little look-see here. Infinite ammo for the first 10 seconds. Let's check the non-modded ones first. Only high tier weapon drops. Start the level with two allies, plus six HP. Weapon drops give you health, rads, and more ammo for all the types. Picking up a weapon spawns a lightning. Weapon drops give you health. That sounds interesting. Let's try that out. By the way, I realize this is incredibly loud. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it with all of my heart. Okay. Where's my music gone? Where's my music gone, game? Come on now, don't screw me out of the music. That would be terrible. That's pretty incredible. Don't screw me out of the music game. I will never forgive you. Yes! No, when the boss spawns it ruins the tunes! That is a major bug. Uninstalling mods. How could you? Major bug. Okay. Ammo is a concern right now. Ammo is quite the concern right now. I.e. I have no ammo. You see these dodges? You see these dodges? Okay, I, I wasn't... I didn't dodge for long. That was a mimic with no ammo in it. I'm dead. There's no way I'm surviving yet. There you go. Wow. <laughs> that was quite incredible. I clicked the wrong button. I meant to just start my run. 
Okay, that was fun. I love the idea of horror being able to pick other mutations. That's so fun. That's so fun. Like, I will pretty much pick that every single time now. Just because that's pretty unique and interesting. I didn't quite level up, which is a shame. Grenade revolver. I was about to say, if Grenade Revolver kills any of these enemies in a single hit, it's it's good for me. And it seems to be doing exactly that. A lot of big boy enemies on this floor. And it, it is doing a surprisingly good job. Do you know what? Props to you, Grenade Pistol. You did well. I think Strong Spirit is kind of needed here. Also, Insomnia is pretty good here, too. As long as we can, like, as long as we spawn close enough to the enemies to actually, like, kill a few before things get hectic. Like, if you don't spawn near the enemies, it's not very good. But it ended up being pretty good, though. We cleared out, like, half the half the stage. I, I I'll say I absolutely love that it's... <laughs> that it sends the police and they're asleep when they arrive. It's like... Guys, you got a job to do. You got a job to do. It just sends them while they're still asleep. I think I may have made that joke before, but I still find it hilarious. Like, boss, I've barely got my pants on. Don't send me yet. No, guys. It's now or never. Send them. Good. Okay, that was terrible accuracy there. Okay. Uh, you, you, why, why didn't that guy stay asleep? Apparently, the little, the little frog dudes just ignore the rules of sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. This fella is harassing me. Dude, calm, calm down with the zip zaps. I'm definitely gonna die here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We'll give it one more. We'll give it one more. Yeah, someone will find out what's going on with the purple dragon level that someone mentioned. I might be, they might have been completely wrong. It might have just been a, they missed something. But I'm still very curious to find out. I can't, in good conscience, just pass it off as fake. That should help. Oh god. Oh god. A lot of shiitake went down there. I might die again here. To be fair, that HP was pretty clutch, so it's okay. It's the fact that these guys, like, eat bodies and heal. The savages. Absolute savages. I never thought I'd see such brute... I was gonna say brutish behaviour and brute at the same time, and then I just said brute. I never thought I'd see such brute. That could be pretty good. Yeah, that works. Pretty accurate, too. I'll take that again. Good. Still, the HP eludes us right now. It's a little scary. But we're getting it back regularly enough to not mind. Stay away from me. Angry doggies. Don't attempt to eat me. I need the sledgehammer. I need it. I need some definite defense against these maniacs. Segway man is trying to kill me again. 
Oh, let's take... I'll climb to either. More for a pistol. Yep, I just want to say I can imagine this being very good. It very much is. It does work based on... Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright then. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now. We've had a good run. That first run was very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed Disco Mode there. That was just <laughs> great. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.